We remain steadfast in our commitment in delivering local news that matters, stories that inspire, enriching the lives of Filipinos in the Philippines and across the globe. This is your GMA Regional TV. Buong puso para sa Pilipino. at home with GMA Regional TV. Good morning! What a lovely Tuesday morning. Oh, hello, Sab. Sa ito mga lovely o solid kapuso viewers, nga nanan-aw sa Atua Karong Buntaga. Watch and enjoy your favorite morning show sa Mindanao, ang at home with GMA Regional TV. Good morning, Jandy! Say, mayong buntag! Mayong buntag, mga kapuso. Bagong story na, Sab. Ang hatod na mo, Karong Tuesday nga I'm sure mudasig ka nato. Karong buntaga sa Bistok, makauba nato ang usa ka proud Mindanaoan performer dubbed as standout performer internationally. Mailaila nato siya unya kauban si Abi Caballero. Mga puso, karong buntaga sab ato makauban ang baguhay lang na koronahan isip Miss Philippines Earth Zamboanga 2022. Let's get to know her more sa Spotlight. Ug sa Spotlight Sab, ma-inspire ta sa storya sa kalampusan sa usa ka certified public accountant. Karong buntaga mga kapuso, usa ka certified public accountant ang ato makauban. Niani og libuan ka likes ug reactions ang iyahang post online kalabot sa iyahang mga kaagi. Una pa man siya na himong CPA. Ilailaho nato siya din sa Spotlight. Atong i-welcome si Romel Togonon. Good morning, Romel. Welcome at home with GMA Regional TV. Good morning, Miss Jandy, and good morning at home with GMA Regional TV. All right, Romel. Unsa ba tong mga sugilanon at ula sa imuhang pagtungha dito sa kolehiyo nga naning kamot gid ka aron na makalahutay. And Actually, itong nakapasar ko og board exam, wala ko ato sa among balay. And pauli pa lang ko ato gikan sa akong review center. And pag-receive na ako around 1 a.m. sa buntag. Grabe akong pangurog ato nga time and very emotional. It's because after 5 years sa college and 2 years nga sigi og review, nakapasar na jud ko sa board exam. Romel Miani sab di ay og uh, libuan ka likes ug reactions sa imuhang post online kalabot sa imuhang mga kaagi. Unsa inabati nimo nga daghan ang na-inspire og daghan sab ang uh, mga positive comments sa imuhang post. Actually wala ko nag-expect o nga maing ato akong post nga mo boom siya. Kay usually ang mga reactions sa akong profile picture or sa mga post nako na is mag range siya jud siya from 100 to 200 and that time tung nakabalo ko nga ni Boom di Aisha walay kuryente sa among lugar and wala ko wala jud ko kat, wala ko katuo it's because ning abot na siya og 1000 and grabe daghan kaayo nag-message nga mga bata nga na-inspire kaayo sila sa ako ang story and kanang feeling nga uh, very overwhelming and makahapi knowing na daghan tao out there di ay nga parehas og story sa ako a ah, naka-relate sila sa ako a ah, and na-inspire sila sa ako a ah. pero di gid maiwasan Romel no nagi mga negatibong komento giun sa banin mo ni pag uh, dawat sa bukid na setting sa amo ang lugar very common jud kaayo maingnan nga hala nganong wala pa kaning graduate hala nganong nabagsak ka And ang pinakasakit and pinaka-worst nga na-receive na ako nga puna is that naingnan ko nga bugo ka. And knowing the pressure and the anxiety nga maingnan ato, very sakit jud kaayo siya. 
Pero sa ako ang part, kanang ginapasagdan lang na ako sila actually. And murag tong mga words nila, ginahimo na lang na ako as motivation para mo move forward pa. Alright, Romel, mensahe ni mo sa mga estudyante nga ginaagian ka ron ang susamang kaagi ni mo kani Adto. Go ahead. Um, para sa mga estudyan- estudyante out there, nga especially sa mga estudyante na sama na ako, average students lang, um, never give up ka na jud nga term. And if ever maabot man mo sa point nga mabagsak mo, unta, tagaan ninyo og chance inyo hang self, self para maridim inyo hang kaugalin yun. And if ever man nga mabagsak mo, the next time around, taga ilang yapon og chance inyo hang self. Be patient sa mga plano ni Lord sa inyo ha, and that padayon lang gihapon. And know na prayer jud, prayer ang pinaka-importante. Manifest, pray, and action jud. And kung para jud na sa inyo ha, ang prayers ni mo, ihatag man jud na ni Lord. Kaya grabe ang kamaayo jud ni Lord. Alright, nagang salamat, Rumel. More power. Kini ang At Home with GMA Regional TV. Sexy, charming, a fine lady with a purpose. 23 years old o kasamtangang gaiskwila sa kursong medicine sa usaka sikat nga universidad sa ilang sudad. Siya ang baguhay lang na koronahan. Is it Miss Philippines Earth Zamboanga 2022? Let's get to know her more. Karun sa spotlight. Hola Zuli, buenos dias. Welcome dito sa At Home with GMA Regional TV. Kumusta ka ngayong umaga? Uh, I'm good po. All good. Even though uh, we're facing such uncertainties nowadays, but so far, so good. Miss Zuli, first of all, congratulations for being hailed. As Miss Philippines Earth Zamboanga 2022 na recently lang ginanap sa Zamboanga City. How does it feel na nasungkit mo itong titulo? Uh, hello po. Buenos dias mga kapuso. Actually, it is very overwhelming when I won the title as Miss Philippines Earth Zamboanga since it is the very first uh, Miss Philippines Earth uh, na pageant here in Zamboanga. And it is very um, happy to have such title huge title in me. Zuli, na-emphasize mo sa iyong winning answer ang kahalagahan ng teknolohiya in spreading awareness about environmental concerns. Gaano ba kahalaga na magamit natin ito sa tamang paraan? I think, Cyril, in my question, I have uh, thought talaga that technology is one of the major things that could lead the environment to a better future. Because We are uh, involved in a technological manner in the society nowadays. So, you know, use this in a proper manner. We should have the proper knowledge and also uh, we should be aware of how to use it and how not to waste this huge um, weapon that we have in the society right now. Because as what I'm running through my platform, I really am focusing with the people. So for us to have For us to use this kind of platforms that we have in our society, useful. Ms. Zuli, you represented Villa Barangay Santa Maria and we are very sure na todo suporta talaga ang mga kabarangay mo and other supporters sa'yo during and after the pageant. Ano yung hindi mo malilimutan na naging contribution nila na nakatulong sa'yo to win the crown? So, I think po, uh, it is one of the very most unforgettable thing that ever happened to me. Because when I was a child, it is really my dream to have my personal tarps or like personal photos around the city. So when I was a kid, I thought of what would be the feeling of having this kind of um, recognition in a certain place. So when I was a candidate of our barangay or Captain, Barangay Captain, and the uh, SKs here in our barangay have printed tarpaulins and posters which they have posted around the barangay to show moral support. 
So I am really thankful to have such supportive people here in our barangay because that also inspired and helped me to push through uh, catch the crown of Miss Philippines or Zambonga. Zuli, you are currently studying sa isang School of Allied Medicine sa isang prestigyosong university sa Zamboanga City. Paano mo ba binabalanse ang iyong time sa pag-aaral at sa pagsali sa pageants? Actually po, the very main thing that you should do when you are multitasker is time management. So even though it's really hard, but for a multitasker like me, I've practiced myself years ago pa before uh, to have time management and self-discipline. So discipline is what you should have because I, uh, even though I'm joining such pageants and all, I'm still studying, reviewing, and also Without the help of my professors, because our dean and our professors are also very supportive, they've asked me for the things that I need during the pageant and what should I do to cope up with my studies. So without the help of everyone and also from the people that are backing me up, it is not possible to be a successful one. To know you more, Zuli, how do you wear an authentic smile during the pageant? At ano din ba ang iyong sekreto? To win the heart of every supporter. Uh, for the smile itself, I think it is always when you thought of something happy. And for the heart of the people, it is having a genuine heart. Because whenever I join such competitions, I always make sure that I am joining for not for a you know personal purpose. It is always for a cause. Because when you are not genuine, actually, if you are on stage, people will feel it. So I always make sure that what I do is what I love for the people to see that I really am uh, ako talaga yung like nakikita nila on stage. Nako Zuli, kung may pasasalamatan kang isang tao today, sino siya at bakit? Uh, I think it's my mom. It's my mother. Because ever since, she does not stop on supporting me. Even on times, I doubted myself. Because uh, I've been to different kinds of pageants which I wasn't able to win the grand title. But then my mom never stopped on believing. And also, she's the one na nagpupush pa talaga for me to have this kind of confidence in me. And she's my, you know, battery whenever I'm down, whenever I'm off. And also, your mother ko pa talaga is one of the people who uh, never left me. Miss Zuli, you will represent Zamboanga sa Miss Philippines Earth this coming year. Ano ang mga paghahanda mo ngayon? As, as of the moment, I actually am just training at home because after the pageant, I think I deserve a rest because we really had a long time of activities during the Miss Philippines Earth Zamboanga. So as of the moment, I'm studying about the environment and all the things that I can do. And also, I am prioritizing my um, advocacy. I want to highlight my advocacy in this uh, pageant, in this platform. It is, the, it is called the Union of the People Echo Power. So it is mainly focusing on how the people can help the environment. So I am actually planning and thinking about things on how I will be able to make my platform uh, in reality. Dagang salamat, Zuli, for sharing your time dito sa At Home with GMA Regional TV. Walk with pride and keep shining. Yes. Uh, so, I would like to thank the program At Home uh, GMA Regional TV for inviting me here. And I really am thankful to be recognized and be acknowledged in this program. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat mga kapusa. And Bernas, uh, yes to everyone. Mga kapuso, relax lang mo. Kayo mo balik pa ang At Home with GMA Regional TV. Kini ang At Home with GMA Regional TV. This morning mga kapuso, atong makauban ang usa ka international tenor voice performer. A Filipino pride gikan sa General Santos City. Let's welcome Alan Palacios Chan. Hello Alan and welcome sa At Home with the GMA Regional TV. Kumusta ka? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing? 
We are thankful na napaunlakan mo ang aming imbitasyon. Anyway, you have been recognized by many because of your talent. Pero Alan, kwentuhan mo naman kami, paano ba nagsimula ang journey mo as an international tenor singer? Yeah, basically just I I I went to school for singing um in in the states and then you just you know you do auditions and you sing for people and eventually uh eventually you make it you make it abroad I, I, I my first um well actually I just came from Italy this past summer I did a couple uh a couple engagements there and I uh, was in Berlin also so so yeah you just kind of it's just kind of uh the, the natural progression of, of a singer a classical singer for, for sure Tubong General Santos City ka, Alan. Was it hard na pumunta ng ibang bansa to fulfill your dream as an international singer? Um, not really. I, you know, I think it's just that if you if you have the the drive and if you have the the um if you have the right training, you know, if you know the right people, you can do anything you want, uh, no matter where you're from. You've been performing sa iba't ibang bansa. Ano ba ang pinaka memorable experiences mo? Oh, yeah, that's a really good question. Uh, well, right now, I would have to say the one that I had this past weekend at Redfern Pavilions. Um, it just it was so filled with with everything. It had family reunions for me personally. Also, um, a lot of friends came. And and it was just like a, I don't know. It, it felt really like coming home, and, and and I was able to bring back everything that I learned, you know, abroad. And um, it, it really a, a night to to that I'll never forget. I'll always hold it in my heart. Isa sa mga greatest milestones sa career mo ay ang concert mo with Opera Ebony of New York City. Kwentuhan mo naman kami sa nangyaring concert mo. I am actually. Pretty close to uh, the director, and I think he might be former director now, but very closely affiliated with uh, Opera Ebony is uh, Wayne Sanders, and he is, uh, I think, he he's a coach, really well known and well respected coach in New York City, and he uh, he was one of the judges for the competition. Actually, I, it was a competition that I entered in with Opera Ebony, and he and I, I was one of the winners, and. Um, and yeah, it was right before the pandemic hit, right before, like, oh, two weeks before lockdown happened. This was back in January, February, March, 2020. Um, I sang my first concert with them as a winner for their winner's recital. And um, that was another unforgettable uh, performance. It was very, very honorable for me. And speaking of concert, naging matagumpay ang solo concert mo dito sa Jensan noong nakaraang Sabado. How do you feel na nakapag-concert ka dito sa Jensan kung saan ka lumaki? Yes, uh, it was such a big success. All my expectations were completely exceeded. Uh, Rain Ramos and uh, Orman Manansala, they, they pretty much produced and, and organized everything and they really outdid themselves. And um, and yeah, it, 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 it was completely sold out show. The the guests were all so happy. I did a thousand and one selfies afterwards. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait to come back and do it again. It, the, the energy was just wow, <laughs> super super electric. Siyempre, hindi matatapos ang episode na ito nang hindi ka namin napakikinggang kumanta. Ready na ba kayo mga kapuso? Mm-hmm. Brace yourselves! Let's give it up to Alan Chan! Okay. I guess I'll sing, um, I'll sing one of my favorite kundimans. It's uh, Dayot Sayo. Uh, Oh, 
Wow, napaka-talented naman ang mga in love. Mas lalong na in love nang napakinggan nila ang boses mo. Lastly, Alan, ano ang mga aabangan ng mga fans mo sa mga susunod na mga projects mo? Yes, I do actually. Um, after this, we're headed to Cagayan de Oro. And I'm singing for a, a mass actually at a church, a local church um, over there. Uh, which What's the name of it? Savior University. It's at, thank you. It's at Savior University in uh, Cagayan de Oro. Uh, we have family over there. And we're setting up a mass. I'm going to be singing in church there. And also in Tacloban in Leyte, where my dad is from. We're going to be singing at a church there. What's the name of that church? Santo Nino. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of um, getting our foot in the door. I want to prepare a, a proper tour here in, in, in the Philippines. So uh, that's sort of cooking up. I'd say that's the biggest thing I have coming up is I want to plan a real tour here. I want to come back here to Jensen, absolutely. But not just here, I want to sing also maybe Tacloban, Cagayan, definitely Manila, and uh, maybe other cities, I'm in Cebu, and uh yeah anywhere else that that we think might people might have interest so i'd say that's my next big thing maraming salamat sa time na ibinigay mo sa at home with the gma regional tv now i must maka inspire ka pa ng maraming tao gamit ang iyong talento keep safe alan thank you very much uh it's so nice to talk to you guys have a have a great day Mga kapuso sa Bistock, nakauban nato ang international performer nga si Alan Palacios Chan. Mapasalamatan siya sa tanang misuporta o sa mga nakigduyog niya sa iyang solo concert ni Altong Milabay nga Sabado. Parayon ko na siya nga muhatag ug dungog sa Mindanao gamit ang iyang talento. Samtang gawa sa kagwapa o kabright, makabilib sab ang pagpangga ni Miss Philippines Earth Zamboanga 2022, Zuli Silal sa kinaiyahan. Busa, suportahan nato siya, mga kapuso. Ug nakauban nato sa spotlight ang certified public accountant kasi Romel Togonon, tambag niya sa mga estudyante nga magbalaumon ug parayon lang sa pagpaningkamot bisan unsa pa man ang mga hagit nga ginaatubang. Mga kapuso, truly inspiring and motivating gyud ang mga storya nato this morning. Sama na lamang aning panultihon gikan kang Tom Lehrer. Life is like a sewer. What you get out of it depends on what you put into it. Mga kapuso, makita pagbalik ang atong episode pinaagis pagbisita sa www.gmaregionaltv.com o ayaw kalimot na mag-subscribe sa official YouTube channel sa GMA Regional TV. Ang karong buntaga na yung mga kapuso, nagtanaw sa ato ah. Ang mga tagamanay, Davao Oriental. Thank you kayo sa inyo ha. See you tomorrow mga kapuso. Padayin sa paglambo o taliwala sa kalisod. Laban lang. Ako si John D. Esteban. Ginisab si Cyril Chavez. Buong puso para, para sa Pilipino. Pilipino.